Yo, 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 guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Maroi and SA Weekly. It's your hosts, Andy and Dean, here to help you with your growing questions and answers and everything happening to with regards to cannabis in the world and in SA. Uh, today, we have a really, really awesome uh, guest coming on. It's Damien from Amia Nutrients, and he's going to be talking to us a little bit about pot radix. Uh, pot radix, it's one of, a, one of the nutrients that we have in our store, and we are... Doing this just to get a bit more information about it. It's a bit of an odd, uh, unusual product. Yeah, it's uh, one of the the lesser yeah. known products from the Umya range, and I think the application for it falls into a time when you know, in my base, in 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 my it's just own growing, I generally am not using too much nutrients. So mm. for me, I'm also learning on on this one, you know. But I think it, it it does have a place in the in the chain, and I'm interested to see how this can be used for clones mostly uh that's kind of my main my main question I'm yeah i mean like come on like this. what products these days aren't a bit weird at <laughs> at first you know it's like we just got like a bunch of like bat guano arrive at the office and it's like i mean we know those like um but some of them are like the the waiting agents you don't know about their value until you know about their their value and yeah so it's so educational for all of us today yeah looking forward to it let's bring damien in let's bring him in Hey Damien, thanks so much for hey. joining us today. Uh, hope you are well. And I'm gonna jump straight in with a question. Um, yeah, why, why don't you just give us a little bit of a background on where the Pot Radix product came from? Sure. So, Pot Radix. Well, let's begin with with the name itself. Uh, confusing until you understand it. Radix is the Latin term for root. So. Okay really when we were putting together the range, um, it was focusing on three key areas, root, shoot, and fruit. Um, and that's where the Pot Radix product came from, right? So when starting your plants out, uh, whether you've just transplanted or you've got seedlings going or you've got clones going, um, there's a, a certain ratio of nutrients and elements that are best suited for root development and that early stage and phase of growth. So yeah, that's where the product slides in and fits in. Oh, awesome. Um, yeah, Dean? So Damien, uh, yeah, basically f for me, this is a product that I, I don't have too much experience. So we've got a lot of questions like, like, I, like I just said in the intro, but uh, you know, a lot of the time uh, the seedling stage is such a susceptible stage for a lot of guys and they're so nervous to, to do something wrong. So when is this pr product suggested for, uh, for usage? Uh, so when you when when do you suggest you start using the using the product as early as sort of germination or or do you wait a little bit before you introduce the introduce the product? I think that's a good starting point for the conversation. Good, yeah. So I've actually I've brought along a little bit of show and tell and a good example. Um, and to to answer the question is, it depends on the medium, right? If you're starting in an organic soil be it uh, a Freedom Farms or, or similar, the soil itself has uh, enough nutrient in it to, to get your seedlings going, right? So in cases like that, we advise just allowing the plant at least time to get to, well, this is what what is it, about the second, third node before yes. applying, applying a feed, right? And applying the feed at half dosage, once again, you, you're in a soil that's got elements in it so lower dosage on the feed um, and that then allows time to to really develop its root system and then once it's been transplanted so i'd say within the next two weeks this will probably go up a size in pot yes. and from there we'll apply the pot radix again just to establish that root base in its new pot okay excellent so usage in early stages and then also during transplant is advised yeah so uh, yeah, we'll get to we'll get to another point in time where you can use Podradix, but essentially, um, he has a, a clone as well. Just a, another example of a time when you can use it. So this clone was rooted about a week ago. It's gone into a, a medium once again with a bit of cocoa perlite and some added Freedom Farms, and it's today received its first dosage of Podradix, and. From there, we'll allow it just about another week or so before we up pot from there. 
Okay, and if we're talking about uh, if we're talking about a nutrient, uh, if we're talking about maybe a straight 50-50 blend or, or something like that, where nutrients aren't really present, then would you begin with the product a little bit earlier in the mm. in the growth cycle? Yeah, definitely. So there are two ways around this: either allow the seed to to germinate and to come up by itself. The seeds themselves typically tend to have just enough for for the plant to sprout and begin its its growth phase and from there you can then do a first application the alternate is to sort of pre-charge your soil with a dosage of of the pot radix and that way when your seed does come up it's got the the first feed they're already waiting for it for the uh, just for the guys that are watching at home i just want to quickly pull up a screen share and just sort of what it's uh what it looks like uh just as a i think it's okay it's in the it's in the new packaging right now uh coming in but yeah just yeah, yeah, just yeah. just add a little bit of reference for for those that are uh wondering what it looks like i'm sure they'll probably see it in the thumbnail sorry dean you're about to no it's the in, it's so. the it's the blue one in the in the range and i was also thinking about the product like sometimes when i'm cloning i get to a stage where like I, I, i'm wanting to plant everything at a similar time but some stuff is a tiny bit ahead and generally i'll use like a tiny bit of like a fish emulsion or or or, or, or some some very light kind of nutrient would the with the pot radix be a good uh, nutrient to sort of apply as a as a, a tiny bit of a, a spray feed, if you sort of just before go, if you're, you're getting close to where you're plant, wanting to plant your clones, but you're just not quite happy with the sort of the, the mass of the root development, but you are starting to see sort of a little bit of sort of nutrient craving on the on the clones. I generally find when they don't root within sort of the first two weeks, then I get into the stage where they look hungry, but like they they, they, they have some roots, but not quite where I want them to be yet. Have you, have you had an experience utilizing it as sort of a, a spray feed or would that not be advised so personally i haven't really tried it out as a as a foliar feed it can work and and i'll tell you the reason why is the amount of fulvic acid that's contained within the product so fulvic acid allowing for really great chelation and and uptake through through the leaves um so yeah i'd, I'd really i'd welcome anybody to give it a try um for for those clones that are in that sort of state and phase that's where we we sort of recommend making use of the multifolia spray yes um, okay yeah okay interesting and uh, the, the, you know, the reason for the conversation is, you know, we, we, we've had a lot of guys wondering about the product and of the range, I think it's, it falls more into sort of the, the educa an education mm -hmm. kind of product because, you know, the, the, we, we see a lot of people just maybe, I think a lot of people might be going for the pot grow when they could be sort of diversifying and utilizing the, you know, the pot radix then straight into, into the pot grow. So I think a lot of guys have been sort of wondering about the, the product and it does form part of the conversation complete carbon kit as well so for the guys who do have the buckets it has come mm. in in with the uh, with the bucket uh, as well sure so dean what i can explain is um on on sort of side by sides that we've done with going from pot radix and then transitioning to the grow or starting off straight with the grow um you'll get away with it and what what you do notice is stretching in the plants the pot grow has got a much higher nitrogen content, much lower phosphorus content. So your root development, because there's less phosphorus, is not going to be as great as, as if you'd started off with the with the pot radix. Okay. Also, that internodal spacing immediately from sort of seedling stage, you're going to have really tall seedlings. And if you're growing indoors and space mm -hmm. is limited, um, that, that does then become a challenge later on. You've then also got to take into consideration that, that stretch for flower. Um, so yes, that's where it does fit in. Um, another really cool place that Pod Radix and it's sort of lesser known. We don't have it on the feeding schedule. It's you know not to confuse anybody, mm. um, but a really great place to to sort of slot a bit of Pod Radix in is in that week one and two of flower. Okay. Um, yes. And it sounds it sounds crazy, but um, with the added phosphorus, if you switch out the the grow for the Radix and then onto Flora. Um, there's that extra bit of phosphorus, slightly lower nitrogen as you're now heading into flower. And once again, slightly higher on the potassium. So you're already getting the plants into that, yes, that transition phase for flowering. So it's a really great point in time. The plants are using a lot of energy and that's what phosphorus is there for. It's that, that it creates the ATP molecule, energy molecule. So yeah, it helps your plants in, in those phases. 
Yeah, that's very interesting because I like I like I personally like myself like scaling through instead of just cutting a nutrient and going into mm-hmm. another set. I like easing it in, and I can see perfectly how the product would fit because you go from a, an early growth stage into your main growth sca- stage, and then when you s- are swapping over it again, it just allows your plant to sort of ease into it rather than sort of being cut and then going into a complete new new set of nutrients. I really like that uh, yeah. that tip. So yeah, it's kind of like a sniper nutrient as opposed to like a uh you know machine gun you know it's like you kind of it has its specific use and if you use it in sort of those those early uh sort of seedling days and then that as you said maybe a transition phase it's yeah you can see where you can see the the value in it yeah absolutely andrew so it it really is it's it's about just sort of trying to find that that balance of of the entire growth profile of the plant Mm. Um, and and we've tried our best to to get the ratios that best suit each of those different stages and phases. Like I said, root, shoot, and fruit. Mm. Um, and and when you when you really get as close to um, feeding those particular points in the plant's life, overall you come out with a healthier and bigger, stronger, higher yielding plant. Um, yeah. it, it just it, yeah over the long term works that way. Oh, brilliant. Uh, yeah, if you give the plants all the building blocks and at the end you get you get better results rather than yeah. just cutting some of the cutting some of the blocks and still getting away with it but maybe not getting the results that you you know you can improve every time and by maximizing each stage you you really can improve the the overall end quality uh, grow on grow absolutely um, unfortunately damien we basically out of time already it goes very very quickly but yeah thank you so much for for coming on and uh sharing about the pot radix and yeah uh guys damien's from amir nutrients uh you can we'll have a link below to check out some of their other products and we also stock a lot of their their full line so you can also check it out at us and yeah uh thanks so much damien we'll catch up soon sweet thank you very much guys see ya cheers damien Yeah, what did you think, Dean? Oh, cool product. Definitely something that I've overlooked in the in the garden. I feel like I've missed a bit of foundation in the in mm. some of my plants and I'm definitely I really for me the you know, I I grow a lot of the time in heavy nutriented soil so i don't think for the early stages it's really going to be something that i'm wanting maybe instead of doing my first two feeds as pot grow i'm going to go for pot radix but his suggestion about the flowering stage you know those those two weeks where it's a weird stage because Mm. you are you're transitioning from a heavy nitrogen phase to a completely new nutrient set but the plants are still utilizing a lot of nitrogen during that stretch phase and if if uh, you know it's all still to be tested personally but if i can limit my stretch a little bit and get tighter internodal spacing during that very tricky stage instead of like phasing out my grow nutrients slowly and then going into the fly nutrient by having something that kind of fits in the center that i think is going to be quite beneficial and it's it sounds easy enough you know i always yeah. half dose first to test any new nutrient as damien always suggests as well it's a i mean i definitely learned something uh today on the pod radix i'm like so like i don't know if you guys can tell i'm like flipping between the the breakdown the the you know the npk and all of that and and seeing like the different milligrams per kilo of of all the different components and it's it's an interesting product i i'm trying to find you know it it is like as we were saying it's like quite a specific type of product and i think you could probably use it as an alternative to grow in in sort of no uh, yeah it's it's got to go in those two sort of phases you know yeah it's like if you look at it it's an 8 4 15 on the npk Mm. so it's like a combination between a a grow and a flower nutrient but yeah it's a it's a it's a very interesting composition and it's for me it falls into that like center point and that's what kind of excites me about potentially doing that well testing it out during Mm. that stretch phase i just actually missed a stretch phase now i'm busy with one now and i got heavy into (laughs) i got quite a bit of stretch so if this conversation was two weeks earlier i think i could have benefited from it quite nicely (laughs) but there's always that next time (laughs) yeah there'll always be another plant um guys let us know in the in the comments below if you've used the pot radix your thoughts your opinions uh, how you've been using it in your grows and make sure to subscribe to our email newsletter you can hear all of our updates and whatnot and as always happy growing and until next week peace and love guys peace guys